is going on guys teaspoon miner here with another teaspoon of cryptocurrency for you what we are going to be doing tonight is i'm going to be showing you how to mine shiba token to crypto.com using hive os so have you heard of shiba token it's a bit of a newer token i just got tipped off to it in the last like week or so and um, it's a pretty interesting one um, their purpose that they say pull up the white paper here or the as they call it woof paper <laughs> their uh, slated purpose is uh, they say we are an experiment in decentralized spontaneous community building so pretty interesting concept and um, if you want to take a look at their wolf paper <laughs> and uh, read through it I'll uh, leave a link in the description you can take a look at it uh, they also have uh, bone token as well as leash token those two are I think in the works from what I've seen on here um, they've got some information about leash and bone and uh, anyway um, so I'll leave that to you guys to read through if you so wish so what we're going to do today, like I said, I'm going to show you guys how to set this up with uh, Hive OS. I'll show you which miners are available that you can use, uh, how to set up a flight sheet for Sheeb or Sheba in Hive OS, get it running and mining your new favorite meme coin. So let's get into it. So the way that this works is it's actually done through Unminable, which is a, a pretty cool little resource that you can use that lets you mine coins that may not necessarily be directly mineable. Um, a buddy of mine actually told me the other day that you can actually mine um, Tether, I think he said. Uh, the way that it works is it runs um, different algorithms, I guess as there's uh, ETH hash, ETC hash, RandomX, and Kapow. Um, so you can run um, things like Phoenix Miner, Lol Miner, um, and we'll get into those in a minute. So here's the Shiba interface. So like this says, you choose your mining algorithm. So you've got ETHash, ETC hash, random X uh, for your CPU, and then Kapow for your GPUs. Uh, this shows you when rewards were last dropped, things like that. And then minimum VRM requirements um, as far as like your DAG size type of thing. So, let's go into HiveOS. And actually, I have been uh, running this for the last few days, and it's actually been pretty interesting um, to see the sheer quantity of coin that you can earn with a variably small hash rate so I've got two rigs on it right now but I've basically been running approximately like 300 mega hash for the last uh, like two days I think it was midnight not last night but the night before that I started and I've hit like 3 million coin or something like that 2.62 million coin <laughs> so uh, it's pretty crazy the sheer like quantity of coin that you can make on this and it's obviously like a fraction of a penny right now i think it's like um let me just pull it up real quick yeah so approximately like eight hundred thousandths of a penny <laughs> or whatever so pretty small anyway it's a fairly new coin um, it looks like it first started happening price history around the middle of April, 14th, 15th, thereabouts of April, and it's uh, gone kind of bonkers the last little while, uh, like the last week, roughly. Uh, there was a few pretty hefty jumps. Um, anyways, but uh, it's not what we're here to talk about. So, let's get into the farm. So I've got... Uh, let's see, so there's nine cards on Hermione, and I've got my Strix 3060 OC running on it as well. So let's go over to the Strix 3060. 
So right now, um, and like I said, I've got this running on ETH hash using LOL Miner version 1.29. And this runs um, typically, I mean, you know, the same hash rate that I could get it running on uh, Ethereum. So, you know, 37 thereabouts using LOL Miner. Um, so if I go over to Unminable, go back to the home page, we're gonna go to Shiba. And if I put in, say, turn on my numlock, 37 mega hash, this says 175,000 uh, Shiba token per day with 37 mega hash. So it's pretty wild um, how much you can earn just in the sheer rewards as far as coinage goes. So it's pretty cool. Um, one thing that's pretty nifty with it is you can actually, when you first set up the miner, what you can actually do is if you have a referral code, um, you can enter it for a split second when you first set up your, and actually even after you've set up your flight sheet. Uh, Cause I did this with a, a buddy in the Misfit Mining Discord when he introduced me to it. We swapped uh, referral codes and we dropped each other's uh, mining fees from 1% down to 0.75%, which was pretty cool. So um, he had given me his and uh, it dropped my fee from 1% down to 0.75. And then I gave him mine after I had started mining and it dropped his fee down to 0.75, which is pretty cool. So anyways, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the flight sheets. And I'll show you guys the way that you set this up. So it's a little bit different than a typical setup, simply because uh, Shiba or Shiba is not an actual coin that's selectable through the HiveOS flight sheet construction process. So what you actually have to do is uh, when you go to create the wallet, you'll actually sort of create the coin during creating your wallet for the flight sheet. So it's pretty interesting. So uh, what we'll do first, we're gonna go to wallets, we're gonna go add wallet. And um, like I said, it's not gonna be selectable in here. So what you actually just do is just type in Shiba. It's gonna show up for me because I've created it already, but we'll just do a new one. Let's just call it Shiba, but you can just do Shib, S-H-I-B. And then you'll see when there's a coin that doesn't exist already, you have the option to say create. So what you're gonna do is you'll click this, that's gonna create the new coin. It's a little bit odd because the icon is just a circle with dotted lines around it, so it may be a little bit weird at first. Um, you're gonna take your wallet address, you're gonna type that in here. I'm just gonna drop a zero X, just so that it lets me complete the wallet creation wizard, because I've already got mine running with my actual wallet address. We'll say Shiba Crypto.com. Leave source as is. Don't need to worry about it. You can save as global if you want. That's up to you. Um, this will be available on your Hive account. Um, so I don't typically do that. I typically just do farm specific ones. Uh, but, anyways, so then we're going to go create. Here we go. Wallet added. Now we'll go to flight sheets. And we're going to go. SHIB, there we go, there's our new Shiba coin, crypto.com, pool is defaulted to configure in miner because it's typical for, I guess, coins that don't exist on HiveOS, it defaults to requiring you to set it up in the miner, which is fine. So let's go over to Unminable, I'll show you guys the options that they have. So they've got Phoenix Miner, Lull Miner, NB Miner, and T-Rex. So you've got options, uh, whether you're running NVIDIA or AMD, which is pretty cool. Um, Phoenix Miner is obviously agnostic, so you can run AMD or NVIDIA. Law Miner, I believe, is agnostic as well. You can run AMD or NVIDIA. NV Miner is NVIDIA only, and T-Rex is NVIDIA only. Um, I'm currently running Law Miner, so we're gonna go, and I'll just show you guys how to set that up. So we're gonna go Law Miner. Set up minor config, and the setup that I used is 
shown over here. So this says the server is ethash.unminable.com port 3333 that is the global server but if you want you can actually go here to manually set a specific server so if you want to do their um, you know, US server you can do eth us unaminable.com 3333 so we'll just do that global server port 3333 this is typically X for password and worker name you actually can leave it blank because the worker name is going to be pulled from the worker template here, which breaks it down how to build it. So you do shib colon your wallet address dot your worker name. Uh, shib colon wallet dot worker name. Make sure so shib colon wallet address dot worker name. Okay, that looks good. And the way that you can do the referral code, like I mentioned, is you're gonna go over here. And so this would be, if you have, if you've started mining, this is where it'll show you your referral code. But if you have somebody else that you've got one, uh, that you can get one from, and I've actually got mine in the video description, so you're welcome to uh, snag it from there if you want. This will drop your fee from 1% down to 0.75%, which is pretty cool. Um, so all you have to do is take the referral code, I'm gonna copy it over to here, and the way that you add the referral code in is you have your worker structure um, with the sheeb colon address dot worker, and you add a pound symbol and then the referral code. Um, this, like this says here, it doesn't change your worker's name and your stash page or anything like that. And actually with HiveOS, it actually disappears a split second after it's entered. And it doesn't actually stay, but it kicks it over to the pool, which is pretty cool. So if we were to put this in like this, we're going to do ETH hash. Obviously you would choose this to be specific to whichever algo you are deciding to use, whether you're ETH hash, ETC hash, random X or Capel. So we've got that, and we're gonna go apply. Let's say Shiba Miner Mineable. Create. There we are. Let's go over to the workers. And let's go Shiba. There we go. Shiba Lol Miner Unminable. Yeah, what the heck? Let's just set this up. Okay, so Shiba. Edit. Let's change the coin. Crypto.com sheep. There we go. That's all set. Update that. So obviously that'll take effect based on the wallet that you've created, but I'm just doing this just to show you guys. So, and now we're going to go to the worker again. Let's filter for the sheep sheets. And here's our new sheet that we just created. And we are going to go apply. Push this, let this kick into gear. There it is, ramping up. Custom pool, obviously, because we manually configured everything. And there it is, 18.8 .8 mega hash. And this should kick up to about the 37 thereabouts. Because, like I said, the way that I've got it set up with LOL Miner is it's running on ETH hash, just similar to Ethereum as far as the hash rate goes. And using Law Miner 1.29, the 3060 can get up to about 37, 37 and a half. Um, when I'm actually running this on Ethereum with the 3060, I actually only get about 37.06. But I've noticed that on uh, Shiba Coin, using Law Miner, I can get about 36 and a half, which is interesting. Using the same overclock settings, I don't touch it. I just kind of left it as is. Let's refresh this one more time. Yep, there you go, 36.6. May still be kicking in. But yeah, so that's how the HiveOS setup works. So it's pretty cool. And let's go over to the pool. And here we are. So this shows the current available balance. And uh, when you kick a, a referral code through that both drops your fee and then the referral earnings show up here which is pretty cool so there's your mining rewards on the left plus the referral rewards on the right 
and then this big number up top is the combination of those two numbers down below. It pays out automatically, uh, I think it's every four hours once you hit 700,000 SHIB. So um, I've managed to get like 2.62 million SHIB uh, since I started. Um, I had a payout earlier this morning, it was 826,000. Um, when it was last night, I think it was like 11 o'clock, it was like 900,000, thereabouts, whatever. First payout uh, when I had started. Uh, so this was like 10, uh, I think I started about 12.30, 12.45 a.m. Uh, on the 15th. And um, so between that and 11 a.m. that day, almost 889,000 coin. So pretty cool. This shows your hash rate graph down below. It's kind of an interesting interface. It's a little different than most other pools. You can zoom out horizontally and then um, like move it over or whatever. And then um, so this shows you, you can roll over your mouse and it shows your current and calculated hash rate. Um, you can zoom out, expand it or whatever. So it's kind of an interesting little way to view it. I don't really know how the full time scale is by default. Or whatever. I think it keeps. Let's see, what is this? 21, 30, 11. So it's what, 12 hours? I guess 10 hours, something like that. So, anyway, that's pretty cool. But yeah, so um, when you get it running, oh wow, 38.16, that's pretty awesome. What you'll do when the miners have it running and you've got shares and everything. Um, is uh, you'll grab your wallet address, you're gonna go over here to unminable.com slash coins, click on Shiba Inu, uh, put in your Shiba address here, and then hit search, and then that's gonna bring you to your pool dashboard. And this will show you your earnings, and um, you can you can actually trigger manual payouts, or if you just, I think if you just turn this off, it'll just accrue and accrue and accrue uh, for as long as you wish. Um, so yeah, if you want, um, once you've hit the 700,000 thresholds, you can actually manually trigger a payout, which is pretty cool. Or you can just wait for the every four hours automatic payouts that happen. Um, one thing that I did notice is um, when the payment happens, um, this will change, uh, that'll show up here and it'll say, I think it says payment in progress. Um, the first payment, and I think the second and third as well, they, it took a couple hours from the point that it started here at the pool to actually processing and actually hitting my wallet as a pending transaction with crypto.com. Um, and then I think with crypto.com it was confirmed and deposited within like a couple of minutes, which is pretty cool. And the cool thing with crypto.com is you can actually top up your crypto.com visa um, almost instantaneously with uh, funds from the Shiba wallet, which is pretty cool, um, if you so chose. Obviously, this is kind of an experiment. I'm just going to plan to stack these and hodl for a while and just see what happens. Anyway, well, you guys, this has been another teaspoon of cryptocurrency. If you found this useful and it was helpful to you, I'd appreciate it if you give the video a thumbs up. It's really helpful. Share it with your friends and... Uh, be sure to join the Misfit Mining Discord as well. It's a great community. We are growing um, exponentially. We get new members every day. And uh, we do our Saturday night live streams every weekend. And that's always a fun time to just come and shoot the breeze uh, with the founders and talk about different topics from crypto to mining to graphics cards that we can never get our hands on. <laughs> Things like that. So, anyway... Uh, you guys, thanks for watching. In the meantime, stay safe and mine on.